Good evening parents, Mr. Vigoro here of the Good Teacher Videos. I'm making this video to show you uh, the students and their parents about the metric system. So the metric system is just another form of measuring items, whether it be for length, whether it be for weight or volume. So here I have a simple chart. I'm going to fill in the rest as we go along, but I want to guys to look at what's already been, excuse me, what's already placed on the chart. Um, if you look at it, I have the place value at the very top. Above that, I have the numeric value. And then here in this larger area, this would be the metrics. The metric values or metric system. So basic information about the metric system, it's just something else to measure length, weight, and volume. So in the imperial system, which is mostly used in the United States, we go by inches, yards, feet, pounds, fluid ounces, and so on and so forth. The metric system is different. The metric system utilizes grams, liters, and meters. Grams are used for weight. Liters are used for volume. And then meters are used for length with height. That's all. That's pretty much the difference. Now, you're wondering at these numeric values at the top. Well, this also goes along with the place value. So in the ones unit, we know it's a ones place. The tens, tens place, hundreds, hundreds place, thousands, thousands place. On the right side of the decimal, we have the tenth, which is one over ten, hundredth, which is one over a hundred, and then thousandth, which is one over a thousand. These are the place value and numeric values that people should be aware of. Now, below the place value, we have the units. These are the units. So the units are separated into multiple categories. This is the most basic category. A unit represents one. Deca is actually a word in Latin that means 10. Hecto, another word in Latin that means 100. And in kilo means 1,000. When you go to the right side, we have deci, which means a tenth. Centi, which means hundredth. And then milli, which means thousandth. And that's just so you understand why the words are what they are. So now. My kids in my class got confused with the terms that are being used. A lot of them thought meters, liters, and grams were the same thing. They're not. There is a distinct difference. So in order to help you, here's what I'll do. I will be using different colored markers to show you what the difference is. So you are going to combine the root, sorry, the prefixes with the units. So kilo and gram will be combined to be called kilogram. Then there's hectogram. Then there's decagram. And then gram is its own unit, so it stays by itself. Then we move on to the rest. We have decigram, centigram. and milligram. Okay, so that is its own unit of measurement. You cannot use centigrams and convert them to liters or meters. They are separate. So now we'll move on to liters. It is the same process, just one different word. So it'll be kilo, liter, hecta, liter. Deca liter, and so on. Please excuse the silence. I hope the music is helping you guys with attention. I know it helps me a little bit. So there you go. That is the difference. You can't use these two measurements to convert this to this. You can't, they're separate. One's for weight, one's for volume. And now, let me see if I can grab a, another marker here. We'll go with meters. So same process. The prefix in the beginning and then meter at the end. So kilometer or kilometer, hectometer or hectometer, 
decameter. Meter is by itself. And then we have decimeter. Please do not decimate anything. Then we have centimeter and millimeter. See, separate measurements, separate units of measurements. That's what you guys need to be familiar with. So anyways, I hope that helps. If I were y'all, you can pause the video, copy this yourself. I'll see if in the future I can make a PDF file for you guys that you can download straight from YouTube. If not, I'll figure something out. But other than that, really hope this helps you guys out in the future. And parents, I hope this was a good refresher for you. Anyways, I wish y'all a great day, a great night, and a great tomorrow. God bless.